In this lesson on the course on Playwright, we will look at how we can upload files to the server using browser automation. So let's go. Here we have a web application that has an input element of type file and then there is an upload button with an ID upload. The user can click the input element and then select a file from their disk. Now with the file selected, if they click the upload button, the web app sends the file to the server as an HTTP request. The server accepts the file, saves it on its disk and returns a URL path that can be used to display the file. The web application then displays the message uploaded and displays the file from the server using an image tag. Now let's look at how we can automate this using Playwright. Here we have some very simple automation code where we launch the browser and navigate to the upload page and at the end we close the browser. As a first step, we get a handle to the file input using the input type file CSS selector. Then we get a handle to the upload button by using an ID selector. And then we write some defensive code to ensure that these element handles are valid. Now to trigger a file upload, we would need to click the upload button and then we write some code to verify that an upload has completed successfully by waiting for the message element to appear and ensuring that it contains the text uploaded. If not, we will throw an error file upload failed. Now since we haven't set any file to the input element before we trigger the click, if we run this we expect to see an error and indeed it can be seen in the UI as well as in the debug console with the error message file upload failed. Now we can send a file from our desk to the file input using its element handle. Element handles in Playwright have a method called setInputFiles for this purpose. We can pass in a string path to the file on disk or if we wanted we can upload multiple files using an array of strings. In our case we want to upload a single file and we have an example image available to us under public assets called upload.png. Now if we run this code with the file path set, Playwright will read this file and set it to the input element and everything works as shown in the UI as well as the lack of errors in the debug console. Now just like other element functions like click, set input files can also be invoked on the page element. The key difference is that you need to pass in a CSS selector to the input element where Playwright will set the file. And as mentioned in a previous lesson, Playwright will also automatically wait for the element to appear before setting the file. And now if we run this, everything still works as expected, but this time we are using the page handle instead of the input element handle. And that's all for this lesson on automating file upload using Playwright. Smash that like button and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you in the next one.